Pikachu. G Extreme on the Luchador Pikachu. I think Pikachu has the tools to really abuse uh, Daisy and Peach. His hitboxes are big enough to catch them, and multi hits are. His multi hits have good angles to send them at to combo into. And they're pretty light characters, too, so. If you can rack with that percent, killing them isn't really the uh, the hard part. You're also a small character yourself, so hitting you is generally harder. Go down air. Back you're gonna connect. Get up from ledge F tilt. I like the aggression on it. Only using T Jolt when you have to because T Jolt is a little laggy if you use it in the air and you're not far enough away. And a turn up can uh, definitely catch you at that range. Dash attack, forward air. The Nair not going to catch him at ledge though. The, I think the way this, this uh, match is won for either side is, wow, strong, the strong hit of uh, tackle right there. Yeah, that's that's how you win the matchup. No, it's uh, it's gonna be definitely the spacing, because Pikachu's Pikachu has a lot of fast moves and a few multi hits. Very fast character in general, so spacing's gonna be so important to get those whiff punishes whenever you get whenever you get the chance. As we can see, uh, G Extreme doing a great uh, job of. Link whiffs two attacks, and then immediately G Extreme is there to say, "All right, cool." Ooh, back air collided with a uh, quick attack. Back air. Nair to get it up to 85, 92% on uh, Ling. G Extreme on eight. Immediately fires back though. And says, "Get the hell away from me!" Back airs. Another one. Collided with the T Jolt, too. Down air, uh, down air trades with the up air. Good catch with forward air. You see, Ling likes up smash as a kill move. Ooh, just barely. Too early to catch the uh, late getup. I guess he was reading a tech. Uh, you can't dash attack on a shield like that. It's not safe. You know, Pikachu shield and L smash is definitely locked and loaded. Fall through, fall through platform up here though. Oh, this is even unstocked. Four percent to zero. Basically zero zero. You go Ling navigating around these T-Jolts best he can. A sleepy turnip. Will he grab ledge at the perfect moment to dodge the T-Jolt? Oh, low profile from uh, G-Extreme using Pikachu's uh, duck. I think that was a good choice from Ling and just sitting and waiting because then you make uh, G Extreme t uh, make a decision. And once you do that, you can understand exactly what he really wants to get back. And if you get put in the same position again, you should be able to win it. Or at least you'll have an idea of what he's looking for. Great Nair out of shield. Ooh. Now Ling's in a tough spot. Ledge Trump back air. Let's see. Makes it back to stage. Gets back air to ledge when he was trying to throw a T Jolt and loses the game one. Loses the stock. Loses the game one. Fair enough. Ling one, G Extremo. Let's get into game two. 
going to Peach this time. Changing up a little bit. Game plan is fairly similar to last time for uh, Ling here. You see a lot of the same things. And now we have uh, G Extreme going back to Steve. And we see it's uh, working out a bit better. It's 13% to 83. 97. F Smash takes it. Oh, wow. 13% with three stocks on G Extreme to two stocks on Ling. Steve was working out much better than Pikachu did. Already paying out more. Ooh, almost got a uh, block spike. But Link's not done with the offense. Good roll to get out of danger there for uh, GX3. Link catching him with side B though. It's still active, don't you worry. Back air, getting more even, getting more toward even in percent. But the only problem is that G Extreme is still on his first stock. Ling's on his second. G uh, G Extreme almost had a full stock lead. Cobblestone, fair enough. Stone tools will get the job done. Oh my God. The minecart hit into the block, into the down air. There's a lot of hitboxes all at once just to kill Peach. Even though I'm pretty sure she was dead anyway. A lot of dodges and rolls. Ooh, very good read on that getup on the roll from ledge. The ledge trump nair to block spike G Extreme, and now it's 6% to 0 last stock both players. Pulled the bomb out to 60% on Steve. Where did that even come from? Very lucky pull for Ling. G Extreme not really wanting to just bend over and take it though. And he's saying if I'm going to die, I'm going to die fighting. And I'm going to die with my items and all my mining done. Look at him slowly regaining the, the resources he's lost throughout these fights. Back air. 92% on Ling. G Extreme on 63%. Although he's not really finding the resource the resources he really uh, wants. He needs more uh, resources in general, like stone, iron, and uh, wood. So he can keep building blocks, but he's just not finding it. He used the last of his iron on that minecart, so no more minecarts. Back air. Diamond tools. All right. Next forward air, back air, we'll kill Ling. But Ling is not someone to let uh, to let that happen so lightly. There's the back air to take this, uh, take the last stock off of uh, G Extreme. Ling takes it. 